Siberia as a region is not yet uh, uh, discovered by cosmetic market because a lot of plants are not used uh, in the cosmetics yet. That's what I want to open a new uh, place uh, for the people to make their skin and hair better. We went to Siberia and we lived in tents near Yakutsk region. It's about 200 kilometers from Yakutsk. At, at that time, I, I was so uh, fascinated by Siberia, I became uh, to be in love with Siberia because uh, it was an amazing place. And uh, after that time, I always thought about Siberia, I wanted to make something connected with Siberia. And then I, I stopped this business in tourism and began to make cosmetics. In, in winter, it's, it can be minus 50, uh, degrees and in summer it can be quite hot, maybe 30 degrees. So the plants are used to this severe uh, change of uh, climate and uh, that's why they are so strong. And uh, the plants who can survive this climate, uh, they have inside uh, uh, very strong nature. There is some plant, for example, called Caladonia, Snowy Caladonia. It's a plant uh, uh, when there is minus 15 degrees, you can dig the snow and then uh, the leaves are still green, you know, when it's minus 50 degrees by centigrade. So you dig the snow and the leaves are, are green and it's, it's an amazing thing, you know. So the, the, the plant is so strong and it lived uh, during the time when mam mammoths were living in Siberia and it's hasn't changed since that time. It's the same plant which was uh, two million years ago. So it's amazing. So we use this extract in, in our cosmetic. My advice is uh, to look for local rare ingredients uh, because they can be more useful for your skin and hair than conventional ones.